Hi everyone, this is Samuel Bed Ghost, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a different kind of pet. Last time in my video I talked about dogs, so today I'm going to be talking about their opposite family members, if you will, cats. Unfortunately, I just have information that I want to share with you guys about cats, so um, I hope you guys learn some things about cats in this video. I uh, don't really have any cat stuff to show you guys, unfortunately, so I apologize in advance. But still, I want to just share with you guys some important facts about cats, as well as a little bit of dogs, too, I might not have mentioned in my video. That's important to remember. So let's get started. One of the most important things to remember about cats is that those animals are their own person. Many times people will get a cat thinking that it's going to be like a dog, meaning you're going to be able to pet it and play with it or whatever. The truth of the matter is, cats are very much individual animals. In other words, it's just like if you were to meet another person. They have certain things that will upset them, certain things they like, certain things that they don't like. They really are, in a sense, their own person in a cat body. Don't get me wrong, they're not a human, but their personality is more like that. A cat is basically an animal that knows what it wants, will do whatever it wants, and really doesn't care as long as it gets whatever it wants out of the situation, regardless if it's good or bad for us humans. So yeah, that's um, something to keep in mind. And also, just like with dogs, like I mentioned before, how um, certain items or possessions that you have that you don't want them getting into, all I can say is good luck, because cats will try about anything they can in order to make sure they get what they want, but you especially have to be careful with certain items, like I mentioned in my last video. You know, certain items like thumb drives, coins, what have you. Just items like that where if they were to destroy it, you can't really recover that item. Or if they were to eat it, of course, not good, can be bad for their health in general. Um, another thing I'm going to mention as well, because I mentioned how they're so individual based, like, oh, I'm going to just do whatever I want regardless of what everybody else is doing. That is actually one of the biggest uh, reasons why it's so hard to actually train cats. Remember in my last video that I mentioned that for dogs you can, you know, for example, like I said, Pavlov's dog, you know, you make the animal get interested in something, but they have to do a certain behavior to get to it, even though they have a reaction right away. With cats, it's a bit difficult, because the thing is, they're so, I want what I want when I want it, and I'm going to do whatever to get it, and etc. That's why it's hard to actually train cats at times, is it's hard to get their attention because they're so, I know what I want, or I know what I want to do. So, if you are able to train your cat, congratulations! Um, but again, especially with cats, it's all about gain their attention. It's about keeping that attention, gain that attention, and making sure that you stay with the training, with the animal, to the best of your ability. But yeah, because cats are so themselves, if you will, that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to actually train them. So all I can say is if you're trying to train your cat, good luck. And if it's a cat that's more cooperative and doesn't mind, you know, you train or hanging out with you, then that's good. So that's another um, bit of info I wanted to share. Moving on. Cats love to get into a variety of different objects. And this Christmas tree is a perfect example. Cats are natural climbers out in the wild, and your pet cat is no different. The reason why I'm showing you this Christmas tree is I'm sure many of us have often seen those videos of cats getting into treats. One of the things that's actually quite interesting about their claws is the claws are designed on a cat specifically so that way they're able to climb down. The claws, however, are not specially or uniquely designed for the reverse, climbing down. Therefore, if you get a cat stuck in a tree outside or the cat manages to get in your Christmas tree, yeah, try and get them out as best you can or even lure them out, but I'm not going to say that's going to save your holidays or your Christmas tree or even your cat's claws. 
Truth be told, sometimes cats, when they actually come down, you want to make sure that they're safe when they come down, especially if they kind of run down or they fall or something. Because the thing is, you want to make sure the animal doesn't get injured. Furthermore, another thing you want to keep in mind is that even though cats are very good at landing on their feet, that doesn't necessarily mean that just because they land on their feet, they might have sustained some kind of injury or got injured in the process of landing or otherwise. So you always want to make sure that your animal is safe. Oh, and another thing I want to mention too is uh, if your cat does get into a Christmas tree, you want to be careful, especially with ornaments. Those bulbs that you see right now, that's a perfect example. Those are old-fashioned bulbs that use gases and liquids and stuff. So you want to make sure if you have something like that, do not let your cat get into those. If those break, it's bad not only for the rest of your family, but it could also be bad for you, in addition to even other specific ornaments. For example, and I know you might not be able to see it, but even something like a candy cane or other ornaments like a bulb. So, yeah, just be careful whenever you have an animal that's actually, you know, climbing your tree and trying to get at your ornaments. Moving on. Food is also especially important for cats, just like with dogs. The most common one being tuna. However, there's something you probably don't know about food for your animal that I'm going to mention right now. One of the things you might have wondered as a kid is if it's a good idea to actually feed your dog or cat the other animal's food. I can tell you right now that's not a good idea at all. Not only is it impossible or even hard at times, for a cat to digest dog food, or vice versa, but there's even been ingredients found specifically in dog food or cat food that can actually not only make your animal sick or even cause stomach problems, it can also be deadly to them. This is why you want to be very careful if you have both a cat and a dog. You do not want to feed them the wrong ingredient because this could make them, well, not have a good day, or even just send them to the vet. Yeah, not good. Another thing to consider are scratches. Although I don't have any scratches on my arm, I'm going to say that cat scratches or bites are no laughing matter. One of the most important things you want to make sure if you get bit or scratched by your cat is you want to make sure that you clean the wound, not only with soap and water, but you might also want to clean it with um, antibacterial ointment or whatever you have. The reason I say this is because there's bacteria actually that cats can have in their claws or their mouths that if it were to get into you can be dangerous. Truth be told, there was actually a story once of a man who got clawed by his cat, and he didn't even bother cleaning the wound, and weeks later he ended up in the hospital. And by the way, that's not a joke. That actually did happen. So yeah, if you get bit or scratched by an animal, if you're a kid or a teenager and you don't know how to take care of the wound, go find an adult or even just try and clean as best you can with soap and water. But... Make sure that you know what you need to do in case the animal were to accidentally or on purpose bite or scratch you. But especially with cats, you want to make sure that you clean that wound. Same with dog bites too. So that's another important thing to keep in mind when you have those animals around.